Hi, welcome back. So far in all the videos we've done, they've been more or less working on the concept of adding music and getting details about that music into the score. Um, but what if you want, say, your marimba player, like I've got here, to play bells as well. So we want to have them play marimba up until here, then quickly change mallets, and then hop over to bells here. Well, uh, we can do that. There's three ways of going about doing it, and the next three videos will be covering those ways of doing it. Um, in this particular video, we'll be covering uh, the topic of using layers to have multiple instruments. Now, the, the upside to using layers is that it's definitely the easiest to implement and the easiest to use uh, while working on a piece. The downside is you're limited to, to four layers, uh, so uh, four instruments as a result. Uh, but to get started with using layers, I'm going to go ahead up here to my instrument list. You can see I've, I've gone ahead and soloed my marimba staff. Now if you click this arrow, uh, or triangle rather, to the left of the instrument, that'll bring up your layer menu. And you can see right now all four layers are on marimba. For layer two, I think I'm going to have them change to glockenspiel. So I'll need to set up an instrument much like I did in the earlier videos when setting up the score. So I'll come in here, new instrument, and let's type glockenspiel. Lock in spiel. All right. And I believe right now our highest channel is nine. So we'll put this one on 10. And this will be Glock and Spiel for general MIDI purposes. All right. Cool. So we're good to go there. The next step will be uh, just loading the instrument into Contact Player. So, I'll come in here to Instrument Setup, Audio Unit Instruments, I'll click my pencil, and all I need to do is come over here to my little flyout menu, Finale Specific Instruments, Glock and Spiel, and let's just load in the Glock Bright Plastic. And you can see that loaded onto channel 10. So, now all I need to do uh, easiest way to work with layers and swapping between them is definitely using the speedy entry tool. So I'll just hop in here. Now there's a few ways you can switch layers. Uh, you could come down here and choose your layer by clicking there. You could also come up to speedy, speedy navigation, next layer. But the quickest way um, is just to hold down shift and then hit the up and down arrow keys to swap. So if I hit the down, you can see down there on the bottom left, it switched to layer two and layer three and layer four. So I'll go back up to layer two. And let's see, let's just add, you can actually see now, or here rather, that I've got the bells loaded. So I'll just go ahead and add something similar to what we've already got going on on the bell part. And you can see it's red because it's in layer two. Uh, if it was in layer three or layer four, it would also be different colors than just the standard black. But now if I was to come up here and play back uh, what I've got so far, starting from measure eight there, the left bar, you'll actually hear it change. Two, three, four. Cool. So you can hear the, the pan setting for that is a little off to the left, but that basically accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. So that's it for this video and using layers to do instrument changes. In the next video, we'll cover using banks. So we'll see you next time.